Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video I'm going to show you a bunch of tips and tricks for your Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL that is simply going to enhance your user experience with your smartphone. So let's dive in and discover a bunch of great tactics. Now the very first feature I want to talk about is the option to be able to flip your phone over to enable do not disturb mode. So if you don't want to be disturbed, if you don't want any notifications at a given point, you don't have to go in and enable the do not disturb option, which is also an option. What you can do is you can simply flip over your phone. So to enable this feature, you can access it from two directions. The first one is if you go to the settings, go to the system, then go into the gestures, all the way at the bottom you'll see flip to shoe. And when you tap on this, it is going to allow you to enable that feature, which does exactly what I said. Now, there's another way to access this feature uh, if you want. If you go back over here, if you go into digital well-being, if you tap on this one, you can also scroll down. And over here, you have the option called reduce interruptions. At the bottom, you'll see the exact same thing if you want to access it from this end. Okay, so let's move on to the next tactic. The next tip actually is in the same section. So if you go back into the uh, settings over here, and if you go into the system, and if I scroll down over to uh, gestures, all the way at the bottom you'll see prevent ringing. So when you tap this, what you can do is uh, you can program pressing the power and volume up together to do certain things. So if I tap on this one, it gives me all the options available to uh, do when you press power and volume up together. So the first option is uh, to enable vibrate and the other one is to enable mute. So you can either set the phone to vibrate or mute if you press power and volume up at the same time as you can see from this example. So just take your pick and you're good to go. All right, let's move on. And of course the next feature is known as the wind down feature. So this is designed for when you're about to go to sleep. So let's go to the settings over here and if you go into the digital well-being over here, if you tap on it, uh, you have a bunch of options here. Uh, let me talk about the wind down option really quickly. So if you enable this option, let me just enable it for a second. Uh, the first thing that you notice is that the whole phone just went uh, grayscale mode. So it's uh, right now it's all black, all white. There's no colors, okay? And that's designed so it's easy on the eyes as you're going to sleep. Now, again, if I go back in here and if I tap on this, uh, you can turn off the grayscale if you don't want to use that with that option or you can turn it on. Okay, let's just turn it off and of course you can turn off do not disturb mode as well. So these are the winding down settings. What you want to do is you want to pick a time. So let's pick a start time by tapping this one. So let's do a 10 p.m. That should be the sleep time uh, in this instance. And then the uh, uh, ending time of the winding down is also 7 a.m. So in both of these instances, you can have the gray scale go on automatically and also do not disturb go automatically. And also, if you want, you can schedule night light, which also allows you to uh, turn on the night light that gives you an amber tilt, which is also going to reduce eye strain as you're looking at the phone close to the time that you're about to go to sleep. So that's great. Uh, another thing is over here, uh, if you go back into the well-being, uh, you do have the option to go into the dashboard and set timers on the certain apps. So if you think that you're using an app too much, uh, for example, here's a game, Assassin's Creed Rebellion. Uh, if I feel like I'm playing this game too much in a given day, I can set a timer so I can't play this game more than 15 minutes per day. If I try to, I will get notified that I'm about to uh, reach my limit. Again, it's not gonna block you from doing anything because you can override everything, but it's there to remind you because as we play games or other apps, uh, sometimes we just lose sense of time. So this gives you a, a, a notification, you exit, and you keep doing other things that might be more important to you, okay? So that's the, uh, that's the menu over here. And the next thing I wanna talk about is something to do uh, with, with music. So if you go to the sound, uh, what you wanna do is make sure that this now playing feature is enabled if you want to uh, know what is playing around you. So basically, if you have this uh, option enabled, anytime a music is playing around you, the name of the song and the artist is going to show up on the actual lock screen which is fantastic. If you're out there uh, in musical environments and you're always wondering what music is playing, 
this is going to tell you exactly what is playing. You can, okay, so let me disable mine, but the option is there. And the final thing I want to talk about in this video that I like to do is go to the storage and go into the smart storage and make sure that smart storage is enabled if storage is a problem for you. So basically any photos and videos that have been backed up to Google are going to be automatically deleted to save you space on the local storage. So any photos that were uploaded to Google and it's still on your local storage on your actual phone is going to get deleted because you already have a backup on Google and that's going to save you some storage space. So those are the features I wanted to share in this video really quickly to enhance your user experience with your Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL. For now, have a fantastic day, guys. And of course, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Have a fantastic day.